Hi, welcome. Uh, we are doing our grounding meditation. We're here with Trinity Temple of Sacred Wisdom. And grounding meditations are fantastic for helping us get centered and focused when we feel scattered or overwhelmed or anxious. Um, sometimes we just need to take a breath or two and just be more in the present moment. So this is a longer grounding meditation just to walk you through um, how you should feel and how different it is once you're centered. And it gives you something to go back to when you need it. The grounding is really a, a personal practice that you will start to do on a regular basis if you aren't already. Um, but having it here will give you the space to um, use a tool when you're in that scattered place and can't remember how, how to do it or, or just can't quite get into the ground yourself. Um, that's what we're here for. So we're going to start our meditation by making sure our arms and our legs are uncrossed. Um, if you can, you know, have your feet on the floor, but we want to make sure our circuits are wide open so that the energy can flow easily through us and um, get us back to where we want to be. All right, so we're going to start by taking a couple of nice deep breaths. So just relax and take a deep breath. And do it again. And just notice where your energy is. Are you leaning slightly forward? Are you leaning slightly back? Is your energy balanced over each of your hips if you are sitting? And just gently adjust your energy so you are as centered as you can be in this moment. And we're going to help our physical body by gently relaxing each of our muscles. So we're going to start actually at our shoulders and our neck. Just allow the tension to gently dissolve. Allow gravity to push down on your shoulders, allowing you to feel connected to your body in this room, in this moment. Allow the tension to melt out of your neck. And then just feel it as it relaxes down your arms. So your biceps, your forearms, even your hands. And just visualize the muscle releasing tension, becoming softer. And now gently begin to work your way down your upper back. Especially notice any tension between your shoulders. Allow your spine to just support you. Your bones are here to hold everything together. It's your foundation, your structure. And 
and moving to your belly and allowing your muscles to simply relax, let your belly hang out. Let all the tension and anxiety drain out. Release the energy from your lower back around your hips and your buttocks. And your thighs, your hamstrings, your knees, your calves and your feet. And just check in with your body and notice anywhere else where it might feel tight or uncomfortable maybe in your side on your forehead or in your jaw. And just feel all the tension melting down your body. And when we think about our root chakra below our tailbone, you may sense it, or you can visualize the red orb. We're going to ask that root chakra to connect deeply within the earth, to move down our hara line, down both of our legs, down through our feet and to really deeply connect with the earth. So moving through the floor beneath us, the foundation of the building you may be in, breaking through the crust of the earth and the dirt, moving past minerals and crystals, bones, ancient civilizations through all the layers of rock and earth to get to the very molten lava center, the core of the earth or the heartbeat of grandmother earth. And allow your grounding cord to connect to her like an umbilical cord. Feeling that red energy of the root chakra reaching toward her and her golden energy of love, support, and nurturing reaching to you and through you. And now we're going to invite our second chakra in its brilliant orange to connect and ground as well. Feel it connect to the root chakra. And as it moves down the grounding cord, gently opening, expanding the grounding to hold more energy, wider and fuller, sturdier anchor.
and asking our third chakra, our personal sun, that beautiful yellow to connect to the second chakra and the first through the hara, through the grounding cord. Again, strengthening, widening, expanding as it goes deep within the earth. And inviting our heart chakra and it's beautiful green and pink to center and ground the third chakra and the second and the first. Anchoring our grounding cord in love and support. And connecting to our throat chakra and the vibrant blue. Connecting that to our heart. Our second chakra, our third chakra and our first. All of them intertwined as they connect, ground and expand our anchor wider and fuller. And doing the same with our sixth chakra, our third eye, grounding that energy down through our throat and our heart our solar plexus, our second chakra and our root. Feeling the grounding cord, expanding, anchoring even more deeply, more completely. And then grounding our crown chakra down through our body, down into the earth. And in this moment, just feeling that deep connection beneath the earth. Reaching our energy up to the divine as well so that we can ground our energy into the divine, into the earth, balanced above and below. Centered in our heart. Taking a deep breath and just really reconnecting with your physical body in this moment. And begin to dissolve your grounding meditation. Notice how much more centered you feel right now, connected to your body, able to focus, ready to move forward with your day in any way that you want to, need to, that's what being centered and grounded can do for us. And just sometimes remembering that we have somewhere where we can remember how to ground when we're having a tough time, this is where you can find it. Um, And with that, you guys, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.